Hey, what's up guys, and welcome to Hacksoft. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to install Tails OS, the Amnesic Incognito Live System on a USB flash drive. Tails is a special operating system built for privacy, security, and anonymity. Unlike normal systems, Tails runs directly from a USB drive, and once you shut it down, it forgets everything, leaving no trace on the computer. It routes all your internet traffic through the Tor network, keeping your identity hidden and protecting you from surveillance or tracking. And because of this, Tails is also one of the safest ways to access the dark web, where dot .onion websites exist. A lot of people use it to explore hidden services without exposing their real identity. In short, Tails OS is privacy in your pocket. Now let me show you step by step how you can install it on a USB drive using Windows. Okay, to download Tails, First, open your browser, and I'm using Google here. Type download Tails OS and click on the official website, tails.net. On the site, go to install Tails, and since we're on Windows, click on the Windows logo. Here, you'll see detailed instructions on how to install it and how to run it, and we're just going to follow these steps. Now, download the Tails image file. This may take a few minutes, depending on your internet speed. In my case, I already downloaded it earlier, so I'm just canceling it here. Once your file is downloaded, you've got to verify it. Verification is really important. It makes sure the file you downloaded is genuine and hasn't been tampered with. If you skip this step, you risk installing a corrupted or unsafe version. So I strongly recommend you follow the verification process shown on the website. Here, you can see mine's been verified successfully. But if you get an error, you're going to need to re-download the Tails image file and verify the new one again. Next, we need a tool to burn or flash this ISO file onto a USB drive. For Windows, the easiest tool is Rufus. Go ahead and download Rufus. Once it's downloaded, open the folder and run it. You might get a notification about updates. Just click no, because that's what the instructions on the Tails website recommend. Now, once the Rufus interface is open, plug in your USB drive, make sure it's got at least eight gigabytes of storage. And remember, this process is gonna erase everything on that drive. So if you've got important files, back some up first. As soon as you plug in the USB, Rufus will automatically detect it. Then select the Tails OS image file you downloaded earlier. Once it's selected, click Start Now just wait a few minutes while Rufus flashes the Tails image on your USB. When the progress bar is complete, you can close Rufus. And that's it. Your USB drive is now ready with Tails OS. Go ahead and shut down your computer. All right, now that we've created our bootable USB, let's go ahead and run Tails OS. First, connect your USB drive and power on your computer. As soon as you press the power button, hit your boot menu key. In my case, I'm on a Dell laptop so I pressed F12. If you don't know your boot key, make sure you look it up for your computer model before starting. Here you can see my boot menu screen is open and our USB drive is showing up. But before we boot from it, there's one important step. You need to disable secure boot. So what is secure boot? Basically, it's a security feature in modern PCs that only allows trusted operating systems to load. The problem is it blocks tails from running. That's why we gotta turn it off. To do that, go into your BIOS setup. On most computers, you'll see an option for BIOS setup right in the boot menu. Once inside, go to the boot configuration settings. If your mouse doesn't work here, don't worry. Just use your arrow keys to navigate. Move down to the secure boot option and switch it off. In my case, secure boot was already off, but if you change it, make sure to save your settings before exiting. Once that's done, restart your computer and press your boot key again until the boot menu pops up. Now, select your Tails USB drive, and it's going to start booting into Tails OS. Remember, every time you want to run Tails, you'll need to boot from the USB like this. It might take a little while to load, but eventually you'll see the Welcome to Tails screen. Here you'll notice an option to set up persistent storage. 
What this does is let you securely save files, settings, Wi-Fi passwords, and bookmarks, even after you shut down Tails. Without it, everything disappears the moment you power off, which is great for privacy, but sometimes you're going to want to keep certain things. When you click on Start Tails, you'll also see another window reminding you everything you do disappears when you shut down Tails. But with persistent storage, you can keep documents, configurations, and more. Here, create a strong password for your persistent storage. You're going to need this password every time you boot to unlock your saved data. After setting the password, Tails will ask which features you want to enable inside persistent storage. This could include things like saving network connections, storing personal files, browser settings, and more. In my case, I only enabled network connections. Once that's done, you can connect to Wi-Fi. Just click the network icon in the top right corner and connect to your router. If you don't see the Wi-Fi option, reboot once. If it still doesn't show up, you might need to use an Ethernet cable or an external Wi-Fi adapter that supports Tails. After you're connected, Tails will prompt you to set up your Tor connection. You'll see two options. Connect to Tor automatically, which works in most cases or hide your connection from the local network, which is useful if Tor is blocked in your country. There's also an option called Configure a Tor Bridge. You'd only use this if you're in a place where Tor is censored or restricted. Otherwise, just go with the automatic connection. Once connected, Tor is going to establish a secure circuit, and you'll be ready to use the Tor browser. Just click Start Tor Browser, and it'll open up. If you want to double check that everything's working, you can go to check.torproject.org. If you see the confirmation message, that means your traffic's fully routed through Tor. And that's it. You're now running the most secure operating system to access the internet, including the dark web, completely anonymously. For more cybersecurity and ethical hacking tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.